Hi everyone! I just got back from American Girl after seeing all of the new outfits and accessories that were just released today. I brought my doll Luciana down with me and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the mix and match pieces that I got. One of my favorite pieces from this new collection is this Eiffel Tower blouse. It retails for $10 and it just looks so cute. They all come in these plastic sleeves that open up from the back. And all of the mix and match pieces come with this type of hanger. It's not the best quality. You can still use them for sure. It's just they're a little flimsier than the other ones American Girl sells. Here is a closer look at the print and the little details. You can see a little bow here. I love this little collar. And these sleeves are nice and puffy and there's really good elastic here. This is very nice quality. The back of the blouse has velcro all the way down and it is the cheaper velcro that American Girl has been using lately where it can come undone quite easily because there is no stitching along the top. Besides that, the rest of the blouse is amazing quality. The fabric is definitely light and flowy because it is a blouse, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's going to rip on me or tear or wear out anytime soon, so this is a really great piece. This next item is one of their $15 items, so this entire collection is either $10 or $15. This was the only more expensive item that I got, and this is the perfect dots dress, and as you can see, there are dots and little kitty faces on it. So this is a cat print dress, but my cat wants to join. <laughs> This dress is absolutely adorable. I love all of these little details with the collar, the front bow, which is just so perfect. Those buttons are the cutest thing ever, and I love that they mix the striped print with the kitty polka dot print. I think that was really clever, and I think it's really stylish and unique. The material is really lightweight and flowy, but I have to say it is one of those thinner materials, so it might wear out easier than some of the other fabrics. This mix and match collection is themed around cats and Paris, which I love because cats are one of my favorite animals. One of my cats was sitting right over there a minute ago. Sometimes she sneaks away into my videos. And last summer I went to Paris for the first time because my mom grew up in France, so that was really cool. So this skirt is called the Parisian plaid skirt and it retailed for $10. This black and white skirt is a houndstooth print and it has these two sides that tie into a little knot here. You can't untie this, it's just a really fun detail. And here's a closer look at the print and this material, it's a bit dizzying the print, um, this material feels the same as the blouse from before. It's that sheer kind of grainy lightweight material. The next item I got is the Sunny Paris Cardigan. This retailed for $10, which I think is a great deal because typically all of the jackets in the Mix and Match collections retail for $15. This sweater is definitely better in person. It's such good quality. I'm so surprised. They must have used thicker yarn or something because this is just so nice and my cat likes it too. Oh no, Bella, this is new. <laughs> this is a new item. I love these little icons and this color definitely works into the fall. I definitely recommend this one and I think it will go with a lot of other pieces. The next item I got is the Noir jumper and Noir means black in French. This is really cute and it's definitely in style right now. I see a lot of people rocking the skirts with like the suspenders attached so I think it was really cool that American Girl like hopped on the trend. I was taking this out of the plastic and I realized that it had this, oh she's back, um, okay. <laughs> it had this cardboard thing in here to hold the straps because they're a lot longer than how they appear in the packaging. Ah. Typically big brands like American Girl don't jump straight on the trends, but I think it was a good idea to add this in as part of the mix and match collection. It's all black with these really fun little pearly buttons on the front. This skirt is quite flowy and it is a bit of a thinner lightweight material which really works for this type of skirt, but it's definitely not gonna last the test of time. It will wear out eventually, unlike some other pieces, but it's definitely really cute, definitely unique, and I think this is really good for $10. And the last clothing item I got is this flower market skirt. I love when American Girl comes out with these types of pieces because they're just a great addition to a collection. And my cat is over on the side chewing on the cardboard from the packaging. Don't do that! <laughs> this skirt is kind of a dark navy color and then has the red and white flowers on top. It is elastic at the waist and it has these cool like subtle box pleats in it. They're kind of hard to see because the material is so nice and lightweight. It's definitely one of those thinner um, cottons again so it won't last as long just 
with the wear and tear, but I really like these little pleats that they did on it. And the last item I got from this collection are the Sunny Sight Flats. I love yellow shoes. I didn't realize how much I loved them because when I got Nenea's um, like birthday dress with those yellow sandals, I've been using those so much. I feel like they're always on one of my dolls and they go with so many outfits. So I'm very excited to add this pair to my collection. And the box is open from the back. Oh, there's a sticker. As you can see, these shoes are almost the exact same color as the sweater. They might be the same, it's just because of the lighting. Um, and the shoes themselves are a bit pointier, which I think is kind of a Parisian thing. I'm not quite sure. But something I didn't notice is, look at the backs of these shoes. This is so cool. American Girl definitely outdid themselves there. And these are just really cute and unique. So good job, American Girl. At the American Girl store, they sometimes run different sales and everything. So today it was $7 for these glasses if you spent $50 or more, I think. I don't know if they were just $7 or if you had to spend $50, but I got them anyways for $7. <laughs> These glasses are really stylish and they came out a few years ago with the summer release of the um, Spring Breeze tunic outfit, you know, with like the little like lace overlay. Anyways, these are really fun and I'm glad that I got them on sale. And the last things I got were a whole lot of mystery books. So. At the Chicago store, they had this whole table up front where Blair airs, where they had all these Be Forever books for one dollar. That's such an amazing deal. So I definitely bought a whole bunch of them. These are all mystery books. I think I picked up every mystery book available. And these are all um, just the Be Forever ones. I've never read an American Girl mystery book before, so what a great time to try it out. And this will be my summer reading. I'm just going to go through and read all the titles and show you the cover picture. So this is Julie's The Puzzle of the Paper Daughter. This is Kit's The Jasmine's Trumpet. This is Josephina's Secrets in the Hills. Kaya's The Silent Stranger. Kit's Menace at Mammoth Cave. Oh, I've been to Mammoth Caves before. Um, that's a real location. Um, Josephina's The Glowing Heart. Rebecca Growing Up Suspicion. A Growing Suspicion. <laughs> Melody, The Lady Slipper, ooh. The Ghost, The Ghost Wind Stallion. I don't know why I can't read. Um, <laughs> Julie's The Tangled Web. And Anaya, The Legend of the Shark Goddess. Something I love about these mysteries are the front covers, but I always wish that like the outfits that they don't make for the dolls um, in these pictures, like I wish they either made these for the dolls or just had the dolls wear a different outfit that they actually sell Like they actually sell Melody's holiday dress. So I feel like it's subtle marketing um, But also like you can dress your doll up just like the cover. I mean these two dresses are so cute Like look at the little cardigan I was just looking at all of these mystery books and they're all about the same size except for this Kaya mystery book I don't know what that's about and if you see my cat, this is Bella Welcome to the channel, Bella. She's really sweet, and because the whole Mix and Match collection was Paris and France, I thought it'd be okay for her to make an appearance in the video.
here are the four dolls dressed going left to right I have Caroline Molly Sage and then truly me number 41 and my collector's name is Landon the two dolls in the middle are wearing the full new outfits minus the boots that Sage is wearing and then the other two are wearing the two skirts with a variety of other pieces Caroline is wearing Logan's jacket. Her top is from the 2001 Flower Power outfit. And something that I noticed when I put on the skirt was I couldn't tell if it was elastic all the way around or only elastic on the back. It is only elastic on the back, but the front just doesn't look completely flat like there isn't anything because of the pleats. And she's wearing the rosy red holiday dress shoes, which I thought matched the skirt flowers. Out of everything I got today, this blouse has to be my favorite. I just think it is such good quality, really cool design. I think it's adorable with this little collar, which mine was stuck up in the packaging. So I wish I had picked one that doesn't have this. Um, it'll just have to be ironed out. The little puff in the sleeves, the material is just so nice. This is hands down my favorite item from today. This little skirt with the suspenders, I have to say I had really high hopes for it, but it just isn't my favorite. I think because you have to like put it on with these straps and everything, they should have picked a more heavy duty material for it because I can just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right, if that makes sense. I feel like it should be a thicker material, maybe it should have been corduroy or something with an A-line skirt instead of a flowy skirt. I'm not completely sure, but it's just, I had higher hopes for it. These shoes stole the show for me. They are so much cuter than I thought they would be because I love the design on the back and the color is really cool. So those get a thumbs up from me. My second favorite item I got today has to be this sweater. I'm just so impressed by the quality of it and just how cute it is on the dolls. I didn't think I would like it um, as much as I do. I just think it's really cool, really cute, really fashionable and perfect for summer and fall. And this dress is just really nice. I love that you can put it on from the back with the velcro because sometimes they do the buttons and buttons are like really cool and everything but let's be honest we don't want to undo and redo buttons all the time the dress is really cute and I love these two together on Sage and she is wearing Kit's overall gardening overall be forever boots and for this last outfit, I decided to raid Grace's Paris-inspired closet for this sweater. It is her city outfit sweater, and I paired it with this houndstooth skirt, which I just think is so cute. I just love that the material is like the blouse's material, like this grainy, lightweight material. Um, and I just think it's really cute and really stylish and a great piece if you like mixing and matching items in your collection. So I'm very happy with this. And she's wearing Kit's school outfit shoes. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. I had such a great time at American Girl today looking at all of the new displays. There are definitely a few more things that I wish I got, but I'm so thankful for what I did end up getting. This Miss and Match collection has to be one of my favorites. It might actually be my favorite. I don't know. I really enjoyed the first one and last year's mermaid themed one, but this one is really up there. I think every single item is really fun, really cute, and really unique. That's something that I took away from what they've designed here is these pieces are just really fabulously unique. So props to American Girl. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.